Sunday morning. Most people aren't going to be working today. Most people aren't going to be working out. Most people aren't going to be doing the things that are going to make them a better person. Directly by you simply following the process that you would do any other day, staying ahead of majority of other people. This is going to be a real view, but I'm telling you, you got to start somewhere. I'm telling you, the same, they, you learn more from YouTube, because what's the difference? The same people that are going to be your teachers are the same fucking human beings in front of the camera. Let's look at this weekend money. Weekend money. $15 for the day. Oh, yeah. You're not going to know until you go through it. Like, you don't know you're going to catch that trade again if you never caught it before. You gotta believe it to achieve it. You gotta believe it, have the mindset that you can do it before you achieve it. Morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Back with another day, new day, new opportunities. Every day is just another chance to achieve your fucking goals. If you're not where you're at, cool. Work today to get there. You have no excuses to not do that. Sunday morning, most people aren't gonna be working today. Most people aren't gonna be working out. Most people aren't gonna be doing the things that are gonna make them a better person. So in directly by you simply following the process that you would do any other day, you're staying ahead of majority of other people. When it comes to success, when it comes to entrepreneurship, you gotta do what other people aren't willing to do to achieve what they can't. Simple as that. That's the saying I tell myself every day, and that's what you guys should tell yourself every day. Do what they want to achieve what they can. That's what we gotta do. It's about 8.50 right now. Just dropped my girlfriend off at work. We about to head home. We got a VIP call at 9 a.m. We're gonna be going over everything from last week's charts, review last week's trades, what we're expecting this week, and overall just get prepared, talk to the team, get ready for the week, get prepared. The main thing you need to use the weekends for is getting prepared for the weekdays because in an industry such as trading when the markets are closed on the weekends, we need to use that time to get ready for the week. Simple as that. So I'll see you guys when we get to the curve. All right. We're here and everything about to get this call started up. We got to give value. It's that time. Back on my setup, too. This is like the first time I'm at the setup. When I did the VIP call yesterday, it wasn't at the setup. I just did it in my living room. But we're back with the setup. Got the mic. Got the everything. But what I'm more excited for is getting the new apartment soon so I can have the new setup in there with a beautiful view. Like, see this right here? This is going to be a real view. But I'm telling you, you got to start somewhere. You got to believe it to achieve it. You got to believe it, have the mindset that you can do it before you achieve it. Trust me, it's necessary. But like I said, I got to record my, not record, I got to charge my microphone, like the one that I'm using right now that you guys are listening to. So uh, if I show you guys any clips, it's going to be more likely clips from the actual VIP call, like a screen recording. So excuse me. Before we start everything, I'm about to do like, I'm gonna do some burpees. I need to wake up. I only been up for like maybe an hour, but I woke up, just took my girl to work and I came here and now I'm here. So let me just wake myself up a little bit. And the person that's under me, they moved out. I'm about to make all this noise. Fuck it. All right, a little something, a little something. Whew. And now, now I feel, uh, I wanna say hyper, but I'm out of breath. Hold on. I said there's still room. Five days, we can still come down a little bit before still pushing higher. That's essentially, we'll have until Thursday. Third, no, five to eight hours. So we have five days and eight hours left. So meaning when the market opens at like six, seven, whatever it is, we'll have eight hours until like 12 or something. 12, whatever that's you'll be, but we have until Friday essentially. So next week, I'm assuming we're gonna be bullish based off of this perspective right here. And I'm also gonna mark this up as the monthly for value gap, just so I don't get confused. Go bullish. It was just a matter of maybe it wasn't at the right time. Maybe it's not going to move at this moment. Maybe it's going to move later. Maybe it wicked me out and then kept going. Situations like that. But directional wise, even on the weekly time frame, these highs are where I want to see targeted. Why? Because we have this wick here, which is one high, two high. So we have it's just doubled up in my opinion. And that's also, like I said, the all time high and it's the weekly high. And we have this big figure level right here. So even though I said I never know where price is going to go. I go off of what I have. And what I do have in this specific area is the all-time high and 42,000 big figure level. So that's where I think price is going to be targeting. Now, where price is targeting is cool. Now we got to figure out where would the ideal areas for entries be. In this case, the first thing I notice is we have this monthly gap down here that's at 40,000. But I also see that there's this right in here, this little weekly gap. So the way I see it, like I said, if there ends up being any sort of retracement, these are areas that I would want to watch for. 
not watching just to see it just as soon as it gets there. I want to watch to see what time it comes into this area because if this happens during Asian session and starts consolidating, I'm not going to take the trade. But if this happens during New York, and the chance of it having a move to possibly go higher is more likely. But timing is always key. You always got to wait to where you are at your time to trade because I could wake up tomorrow and we're all the way up here to trade. That's So this idea down there isn't going to be nothing. It always matter where you are in the moment, where you are during your session, where you are when you're supposed to be trading, your trading time. That's what's key before it runs that high. So I can use it to target it because once price runs that high, for all I know, we just created another all-time high and we're about to retrace again. You know what I mean? Because nothing is going to keep just going up, keep going up, keep going up forever. There's always going to have ups and downs. I look at this on a weekly time frame. It goes up, has bearishness. It goes up, has bearishness. It goes up, has bearishness. Right now, we're going up. But guess what's going to come after that? Some bearishness. Every time. But when you're at an all-time high, you don't know where that's going to be. You don't. It could be here. It could be here. It could be here. I could just focus on what's actually here, which is this all-time high. So once that gets hit, I wouldn't want to be forcing shit. You know what I mean? Just because the likelihood of being able to target this high right now before it's hit is way more likely. Because all-time high, and we're only about what? How many points away? 400 points away? And then if you look at it in terms of how low, how close we are to the nearest the low, we're 400 points to the high. And 570 points, 580 points to the low. So we're significantly closer to the all-time high. And everything's clearly booked. And it's US 30. Come on now. And it's US 30. So the likelihood of it going bullish is very key. Now it's all about where our entry is going to be. This down here, this is one area that I would watch for. So this would just be scenario one. And this is all I ever do in trading. I just look at where the possible scenarios are. I only have two trades. I, can, I just take what I was there, just based off of what I know, what I've taken from the market, from experience. There we go. You just got to know yourself. Not everyone's going to have the same level of patience. Not everyone's going to have to be at that same stage to be able to do something like off rip. Like you're not going to have the discipline off rip. It's like not even like, let me say you won't have the discipline. Most people in that situation where they already trade every day and then they're trying to go to trading one day a week, one trade a week, they're not going to be able to do it off rip. Like, it's a, it's a way different change. Like, it's going from doing something all the time to having to do nothing. And doing nothing when you're used to doing something that is literally the opposite. And it depends on how long you've been doing it, too. Like, you've been trading for a little bit, so it'll be a bigger change compared to somebody that hasn't been doing it as long. Yeah, they, they can switch easier because it's not like they have much experience with either. Just have systems, too. If you win two, three days in a row, just maybe lower risk. So even if you win, you're still a plus. If you lose, you're just lowering risk. Just have systems that just keep it ahead of the game like say for example if you would have had that after you took the two wins you took a day off and then maybe that day off is the day that you lost money anyway you wouldn't have lost money that day just from a simple thing and then even if you would have lost the day after that still it just would have been less would have happened anyway it just would have been less and the only thing you can do is manage the risk you can't control if it happens or not i mean you can control if it happens but you don't know it's going to happen when you take that trade you don't know it's going to be a loss you just know there's a probability chance that it's going to be something. I'm telling you, the same. They you learn more from YouTube because what's the difference? The same people that are going to be your teachers are the same fucking human beings in front of the camera. <laughs> what's the What's the difference for me becoming a teacher? One trade I had something that wanted that I had a reason to pull it was the only trade that I won. And that was because my one to one was at the previous day's high and there was no high above it, so it was like if it hits this, it could reverse. But I ended up just going to one to two, like it just started moving fast. But on the ones that lost, I would say the ones that lost, the trades were valid. It was just a matter of price did a whole lot of bullshit for us. Like this week was a trade. Like the trades ended up playing out. It was a matter of yeah, I would get TP1. It would come all the way back, maybe wick a whole lot, and then went back higher maybe later. Like the trade idea is just the fact it wasn't moving when I wanted to. You're not going to know until you go through it. Like you don't know you're going to catch that trade again if you've never caught it before versus if you've done it 10 times. It's just the confidence level is different. This comes down from getting the experience, even if it comes from back testing, even if you see the same trade happen a hundred times in a back test, if it can happen back test, it just it'll happen live again. It's just a confidence. Like if you've seen it happen a hundred times versus a hundred time a hundred times versus one time, the level level of conviction you would have towards it is gonna be different. And then over here, you can just see it was running all highs and lows, but nonetheless, days like weeks like this where it's just running highs and lows, look back to back, just <laughs> just running everything highs and lows. It's real choppy overall, but we're getting up out of it now, though. All right, we just got done the call. 
about to upload and everything. And one thing with these calls that I do is I upload them all because there's not people that are going to be able to make every single session. If they can make every session, that's thorough. But not everyone's going to be a demon like me and show up every single day no matter fucking what. I'm fried. <laughs> but, like I was saying, it's time to end it all off. Get this all recorded. Not recorded. Get this all posted. Got some content to make. VIP session is done for the day. The trading is done. And let's look at the VIP sales. Let's look at this weekend money. Weekend money. $15 for the day. Oh, yeah. And then come over here. Just going to add this into the vault with everything else. Because this is what it takes, man. This is what it takes. Success. And then we just going to label today's session with a date. August 25th. 2024. Trading outlook. And these are just our weekly sessions. Oh, come on, I need the capitals. My OCD ain't gonna like that. I need the capitals. Get this file. How long was this? People always be talking about, like, if, why don't I record all those sessions? Because, bro, this call right here, just from 9-12, so maybe an hour call, is five damn near gigs. <laughs> five gigs, my boy. I got 400. I used 10% damn near just now. 1% just now. Not good math. Team, right now I'm on my way to get my girlfriend from work. It is Sunday, like I said, but my family is in town and I'm about to go see them. My family does live in Philadelphia right now. I have a couple of grandparents. I have my grandparents that moved down to Florida. I got my cousin, my aunt and everything, uncle that moved to Florida. But my mom, my dad, my brother, and my other dog is still in Philadelphia, but they're here right now visiting family. So I'm gonna see them for a little bit, probably go over there, but they're all the way in St. Pete. So I gotta travel over there. It's about a 45 minute drive from where we are. We're gonna stay the night over there just because it's gonna be a whole lot of traveling. I'm gonna have to trade from there tomorrow morning, or I might just leave before then so I could be home by the time I gotta trade nonetheless. But we're gonna see what we could do. Gotta go get my girlfriend. Then from there, go back home, pack everything with the dogs, head over there. Hungry too, gotta get food. Just a whole lot of moving around, but in Florida, you gotta drive to get everywhere. You would think going from Tampa to St. Pete is not 45 minutes, but it is. You guys like having the low yard? Low Airbnb in St. Pete, the dog's chilling. Luna. Get over here, I don't trust you. You're gonna jump over that. Rain is crazy. We're here, I'm with my family and everything. Grab dinner, and honestly, today's gonna be one of those days where I'm just enjoying it with the family that I don't get to see that much. I'm not gonna see them for a couple months. I haven't seen them in a couple months. And I only got tonight, and then they got a flight tomorrow morning. And I still gotta edit this video, and it's eight o'clock at night right now, so. I'm going to take this time to end the vlog off. I appreciate every single one of you for watching the video. I appreciate every single one of you for tuning in day after day to continue to better your life. Fuck giving me views. You're showing up to get value and to better yourself. And I appreciate every single one of you. I'm glad that every one of us is on the same path of trying to develop and just grow as individuals. If you want to learn how to trade, the free trading course, the free trading webinar is completely free. It'll teach you everything when it comes to the systems, the strategies, the concepts for free. Once you're ready to join a team of like-minded individuals, such as the clip you guys seen earlier when we went over everything from what we're expecting this week and what happened last week, join the VIP Trading Network. We're active every single day. Stay safe, stay productive, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily video.